Okay. Right. Alrighty. So let's just start by lighting a candle and just coming into coming into this present moment. If you have a candle, I'm just gonna encourage you to go and get it. And I just want you, as you're lighting your candle, to just come up with something that um, you want to manifest in your life. It can be something you're already working on. It could be something new. Um, choose something that you are wanting to bring into your life. And let's just uh, come into the body, just come into the present moment, closing the eyes, sitting up nice and tall. Just take a deep breath in, release the breath. Just starting to notice the breath, notice, noticing as the air is coming in, is it coming in through the nostrils? Are you breathing in through your mouth? Just notice. There's no right, there's no wrong. Just choose what feels easy and natural. Now just notice if you're holding at all in the belly and the abdomen. Are you very tense there? If you are, are you able to let that go? Still keeping the spine nice and straight. As you're breathing out, just extending the abdomen. And as the breath is coming in, you're pulling it just, you're not even pulling it, your body is just pushing that in diaphragm in towards you. Hands are open, resting on the knees. If you're more comfortable lying on your back, you're certainly welcome to do that. I'm just gonna give you suggestions and then no matter what I, I suggest, you do what's right, feels right for you. And this is really, again, just learning um, to listen to your own body, to your own needs. And just start to notice, just notice how the body is feeling. Notice if you have any tightness anywhere in the body. Notice the neck. Notice the jaw, the tongue, the eyes. Are you, were you holding your tongue, were your teeth together? Just loosen that whole area up. Notice when you do that, what happens? How does that feel? Noticing the shoulders. Dropping the shoulders down from the ears. Releasing in the hips. And just gently opening the eyes. And just give the head a very gentle you can either just go down one way and then back the other way, or you can go the whole way around, but very, very, very gently, just releasing the neck and now releasing the shoulders. And the other way with the shoulders. And let's take one more deep breath in. Opening the belly as you breathe in, hold it. 
and release the air through the mouth. <sighs> Just breathe naturally. Okay, great. So I'm going to be playing a few different sounds. Um, and I want you just to listen without resistance. So if you start to feel some resistance, certainly if it's too loud, turn it down so you don't want to hurt your ears. But just notice if you can, if you hear something that may sound agitating, see if you could just breathe into that and just release the air and just sort of, it's like you're pushing the sound a little bit off your body and you're just allowing it, you're kind of like the rock in the river where the sound is just moving over you. And when I play the crystal bowls, I really want to encourage you to tone with the bowl. And it doesn't even matter if you're making the same sound, you can make other different sounds or if you could try to tone, it'll just give you a guide to that tone. The reason I want you to do this is that when you're just listening passively, um, it's very wonderful. It's very, it can take you into a very deep meditative state. And I encourage you to do that for part of this sound bath. But when you participate and you actually run sound through your body, especially when you're adding to that same frequency, assuming you were in the room with me, it doesn't matter that you're not, it, but it's even more important that you also use your own vocal sounds. And it doesn't have to sound good. It just, what I want you to do is an experiment. So I want you to do that and then check in with yourself after the sound bath and just see how that feels or even just after the toning and just allow yourself just to kind of be with that and and just and just notice just notice if you feel a difference okay all right so let's go ahead and get comfortable you can lay on your back um on a mat you can put something under your knees um, you can be seated if you like. Just find a place that's comfortable for you. Um, and if you find, obviously, if you need to move around during the sound bath, I mean, do what you need to do. If you can, try to just relax into the sounds and I'm going to make, uh, give you prompts to tone. And I will also be toning at at certain parts, meaning I'm going to make the same sound as the bowl and it causes a really cool effect. Um, so I'm really curious to, to get feedback about how this sounds. So feel free to put comments into the chat for me. Um, but it, I was able almost to create a binaural beat and this is something we can all do. This is something, not only can we do it, we really would benefit from, from doing that. We are, we have vocal cords for a reason, not only to talk, but to make, which is a form of sound. We are meant to make sound. And, you know, we're just sort of taught not to, not to do that. Um, as soon as we get to like a school of school age, maybe even before that, you know, we're, we're told to be quiet. <laughs> we're told to subdue. And it's actually not, um, natural it is learned so when babies cry and they need something they don't care how they look they just let you know right so we've learned these societal pressures right to be in society so it's really good when you can create an opportunity for yourself just to sound just to make noises you know just to, and really it's not about the noises uh, you know, you have to really work on trying to get your judgmental, critical mind out of the way. That's just all story. Uh, it's all nonsense that we've taken on as being part. It's the heart, part of the human beingness. And 
it isn't true, right? So, so try this on if, you know, I mean, if you could be alone in a room where nobody can hear you, so you don't have to feel um, embarrassed or you don't have to feel watched, judged, whatever, just experiment with this. And, you know, I really encourage, um, I'm doing such an exploration right now into sound and why does sound heal and how does it work on us and what is the purpose of sound why you know and and what is the purpose and we have a special ability as human beings in the use of sound um and we're all uh, you know i'm uh, the first to say i'm ignorant of any other animal's language and so one is not better than the other they're they're just all unique and fascinating we can all learn you know from one another but anyway so so that's my, that's, I'll, I'll stop there. I'll stop there, but I'm going to encourage you to participate. And I wanted to share why that's, I'm encouraging. Why is that important? How is that going to benefit you? And then use, and then check in with yourself and see, you know, how was that for you? Did that feel different? Maybe try it again without doing that and just kind of see what the difference is. And I think you'll be, curious it, 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 you'll be um i won't say surprised but i would be surprised if you didn't notice the difference in the feeling of your of your body you know and even your mind so it, it's an interesting it's an interesting thing and i'm encouraging that so all right so let's just um get out of the thinking mind where i've been and explaining and you can just relax because I will take you, I will guide you, I will tell you when uh, to um, participate and when you can just to let go or you can certainly do your own thing. So let's just take three nice deep breaths in through the nose, holding the breath and releasing it and you can sigh when you release that. <sighs> And again, nice deep breath in through the nose, really filling up the belly as you breathe in, as you fill the, 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 the belly with air, and sigh. And just do that one more time. Hold the breath, hold the breath. Let that energy build. Hold it until you can't hold it anymore and then release with a sigh. And just breathing naturally. in through the nose and breathe it out <sighs> breathing naturally at your own pace and let's do that again take a nice deep generous breath in through the nose really filling the belly with air holding the breath and releasing
base of the spine. So as you make this tone, just feel down at the root.
of self-expression, of feeling heard.
you can begin to just gently start to notice the breath coming back into the body. And just roll the ankles, roll the wrists, bring some movement back into your body. And bring the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet together and rub rub the rub them together just bringing some energy back into the body and take a cat stretch right rolling over to one side of the body and rolling over to the other side And gently coming up to a seated position when you're ready or staying in a laying down position and moving into whatever's next for you. So let's come up to a seated position. And just put your hands over your heart Take a nice deep breath in, exhale it out. And just bring to mind something that you're grateful, something or someone that you're grateful for in your life. Just anything at all. And just allow all the feelings of gratitude for one thing or another to just kind of tumble in just feeling that incredible feeling of gratitude of gratefulness into the heart into the body out into your etheric field breathing it out 